got him. Feels big. Yep. Yep. Well, how's it going, everybody? And welcome back to TRF. It is tourney season. We're back here at the AM team. They're letting me fish for one more semester. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, my name is Tyler. I run this channel. This is tourney season, where I show you guys what tournament fishing is like. And uh, yeah, we'll see you all in the water. Well, we have made it to our first spot here on the lake. My lens looks dirty. One sec. We are here in Lake Somerville this morning for the A&M Club Tournament. I, as you guys know, I graduated college, but I have one more semester of eligibility left because I did qualify for the FLW Championship next spring. So they're letting me hang out here with the guys and have a good time. It is college game day playing Clemson today, so hopefully this video... Uh, oh, make a cast right there. There's a fish there. Hopefully this video reminds us uh, that we beat Clemson. But I'm out here today with a uh, new member of the club, Josh. Howdy. He is a uh, he works at the the vet school, yes, sir. the vet school here at A&M. And if you guys know much about A&M, we are known for engineering and vet stuff. So very cool. He uh, went to the uh, military. What branch were you in? The army. He was in the army, and uh, now he's back getting his education. So he was paired with me to fish randomly in this club tournament lucky today. Me. He he uh, he thinks he's lucky. Little does he know. I don't know anything about <laughs> fishing right now. <laughs> Last time this boat touched the water, it was in Minnesota. So. I have not fished Texas for a while, but hey, we're gonna have a good time today. But yeah, we're gonna have a good time and we'll see you guys when we catch some fish. So as you guys heard me say just now, uh, I haven't fished Texas for a while. The last time this boat was in the water was in Minnesota. So I'm taking a few weeks off using old Minnesota content to push on YouTube and it's been 100 degrees every day here and it's gonna be 103 today. So I have no clue what these fish are doing. I don't know what stage of the summer pattern they're in. I don't know if they're deep summer, if they're moving to fall, I don't know if pre-spawners we're just gonna figure them out starting on one of my you know favorite spots here in the lake see if I can pick off any fish so far no bites so if that's the case we'll move main lake get out of this creek but yeah this is kind of like fishing a tournament with uh, zero practice not, not always recommended see I like the look of those birds over there because there's obviously bait fish there I just I couldn't see the bass being that far back right now. We're moving. Moving and grooving. Spot number two. I've never caught them good on trees out here. Oh, really? Yeah. If you think you'd flip trees and catch fish, I've never been able to do that. Man. Oh, yeah. Cool. That's dope. Oh, oh, I just had a fish. Right here. He bit me. And then dropped it. Could have been a white bass. It's definitely a fish though, it was not a stick. <laughs> Shatter popping everywhere. Come on. What's going on? Folks, one thing you look for, especially this time of year on a lake like this, is, is bait fish. Fish out here do not eat very much crawfish. I don't even know if there's crawfish in this lake. They're very bait fish dependent, and so you want to find an area that has this little little bait fish, little shad, and we found it. They're popping everywhere, which means they're kind of coming up, they're rising, they're being chased by predatory fish, but yet we can't get any of those predatory fish to bite, which is not encouraging. But in situations like this, you just gotta keep trying new things, hoping that something triggers these fish. We have moved out deep a little bit, throwing a little bit of deep cranking. It is windy, as you can hear. I think one of my trolling motor batteries is going out because I mean all summer it's been getting like less and less charge yeah. and I mean I plugged it in all last night and I'm on nine and a half and it's going this slow so gotta get that replaced I guess oh dang it if I had a fit Got excited. I just want to get one fish to give us a clue. Do you have a fish? No, stick. Gosh. It was like, it was one of those sticks that like keeps coming with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that felt good. Got him. 
feels big. Yep. Yep. Yep, there he is. Actually, I'll flip him. Uh, actually, now that you got the net, might as well use it. Here we go. Nice. Hey, yo. First fish of the day. I'll take it. Switched it up a little bit to the wobble head with the cutter worm, and it got him good. There we go. Heck yeah. Fish number one. Thanks, man. All right. We'll take it. That's a chunky one. See, boys and girls, you just got to try out different things until you figure out what the fish are doing. And that is three bites now in one fish in about 15 minutes on one little stretch. So we're going to focus our efforts here for a little bit. See if we can't. Oh, I had another one. Uh, the Strike King Cutter Worm. It's like a Cinco but with a, like a floppy tail. There, the bites are coming like, I'm gonna cast where the bites come. They're like right there. Eight feet or so, that's what I'm thinking. Yep, three, two, five. Nice. I'll take your three, two, six. Got one. You got one, my friend. <laughs> Big one? No. Oh, but hey. Biggin. Biggin. Is it, a, oh, that's a non, that's a non-scorable. That'd be like 12, that'd be like 12 ounces. <laughs> but hey, your first tournament bass. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Only up from here. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? You gotta do the, make it bigger. Oh yeah, okay, one sec. <laughs> first tournament bass, there we go. Oh, Look at that. You didn't even know, you were like, you said. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 that's a big one. I don't know yet. Could not be big, but I mean, the way it was swimming was bigger. I don't know yet. Nope. Yes. Here we go. Another good one. Look at that. Another three pounder. Get you in the live well, son. Seven, eight, three or four, three or three. Alrighty. I always want to keep one nice one in there for a picture later. Alright. The fat lady is singing. Time to pull up the troller. And get this show on the road. So that is it everybody for our first club tournament of the year. Definitely a uh, big shout out to a for letting me stay on the team for another six months or so. But also want to give a shout out to this man fishing his first tournament. Last thoughts on your first tournament. Uh, I'm ready to do it again. Uh huh. A lot of fun. That's good. That's uh, what I like to hear. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully learn a few things. Hopefully you guys as well learn a few things. That's what I want you guys to know about my channel as I love teaching. And so if you guys are new to this channel, I welcome you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy it and stick around and we'll see you guys on the next exciting episode of TRF.